Can you believe it? Guess what mode I'm shooting at? If you guess 1080p, you got some magic lantern points for you. But um, yeah, this is 1080p, 14 bits. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you about 1080p is because sharper is not always the best way to go when it comes to video. I know a lot of people are into megapixels. A lot of, well, actually, a lot of manufacturers are into the megapixel race when it comes to stills, but also as well as videos. You know, we got 8K cameras um, slowly but surely becoming the standard. We 6K was barely a thing and already 8K is coming out. Remember when 4K was like amazing? Wow, it's so sharp compared to 1080p. But now 4K is like so normal and our eyes get adjusted to it. When we watch a higher resolution video, it becomes even a, it, it's almost like we put on a pair of glasses, prescription glasses, and now we can see clear. But for some reason, it just doesn't look right. It makes it look more mobile, like a smartphone style. The cool thing is that, you know, if, even though Magic Lantern, yeah, it's limited with the shooting modes, the one times three mode, the anamorphic one, it's really soft because it does this whole pixel binding thing, uh, the one times three pixel binding, and it, it will get a nice anamorphic look, but the thing is, it'll be very soft three times three which is a 1080p mode which i'm shooting at right now at 30 frames per second this 1080p mode is really sharp because it's basically using the full sensor but it's actually sharper than the anamorphic one the one times three so how can we fix this 1080p and, and that got me thinking right there that the thought of 1080p being the sharpest mode but yet that causes aliasing so sharpness causing aliasing and i just gave it a thought like why not reduce the sharpness and see if that reduces the aliasing the more and long and behold right now this is the neutral profile that canon has the camera in camera profile neutral and Zeke, a lot of YouTubers that I've seen, you know, tutorials with Magic Lantern, they all recommend neutral with everything at zero except the sharpness at seven. This is the sharpness at four. And it still looks sharp and upright for 2024. This is 1080p with the neutral profile at sharpness four. And if you even, if you need more sharpness, you could add that in post, but that's the thing. We don't need sharpness. And uh, the video you're watching right now is just straight out of the bench with no sharpening, no mid details added to the image. The sharpness you're watching right now, the details is straight out of the camera. And that's why I say, like I said in the beginning of the video, sharpness is not everything. Resolution is not everything. If this test, if this experiment was successful, this opens up the door for whew, shooting with 1080p in so many other different scenarios. But having open gate, whew, that's really nice as well. So this is basically, you could say, open gate for the Canon EOS M. And it's just really awesome. I could trim this and have a portrait video for a reel or a story. This video is probably pointless, right, with all this noise? All right, so we're gonna go to a park and I'm gonna shoot the cheapest kit we can get for EOSM. This is gonna be the 15 to 45 mil kit lens. And also I might throw in there the TGR on 35 mm f1.4, which is also a great budget lens. So all these lenses are cheaper than the camera itself. So we're gonna go out and see what we can get at 1080p open gate with the neutral profile at four sharpness. And let's see if we can fix this whole range.
Here we are in the park and uh, it was beautiful. Didn't disappoint even though there are no sakuras whatsoever. It still was amazing. Loved it. Had a blast shooting with the 1080p and also with a bunch of cheap lenses such as the kit lens that is shooting me right now, the 15 to 45 and also the TTR the 35mm f1.4. We got some birds feeding here and there. It's just, we got the koi fishes swimming all around me. It's just a beautiful park to come so i can't wait to come back in the sakura season to see all these trees bloom with sakura with those cherry blossoms but over there on the distance way behind me i can see there's like a plum tree over there so we're gonna get a closer look to see if there are any flowers on it i saw some petals um just streaming down the road the river here the little creek so i doubt we're gonna have any beautiful flowers we'll take a good look and see how the tree is but um hopefully we could get something pink we'll see mm -hmm. 